Hello. <laughs> Three days out. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great, healthy, ready to go. I've been putting in the work. Um, yeah, it's about that time. It's almost been a year since your fight with Macy Barber. Why the long layoff? Um, I just had like some injuries, some medical stuff. I had to just take some time off for that. And yeah, I'm back healthy. Was it frustrating um, being on the sidelines or was it kind of like you needed your body to heal a little bit? Yeah, I definitely needed my body to heal. And then I was trying to get a fight for a little bit and they just kept saying, oh, wait for this one, wait for this one. And then, so 12 weeks ago, they, they threw out Tatiana and I was like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, so, um, you know, you come off this long layoff and you're the one to welcome back Tatiana Suarez. Also welcomed her to the flyweight division. Um, first of all, is there pressure in that? Um, there's not any pressure for me. If anything, she's the one with the pressure. I mean, everyone think, says she's like the next Khabib or the woman Khabib. So I think she has a lot of expectations to live up to in this fight on Saturday. Um, ever since the fight has been announced, you've been like, you've wanted this fight. What, what about the fight makes you so excited about it? Um, just that she's a big name, you know, she's undefeated. Um, she, she kind of is one dimensional. I mean, obviously the best at what she does, but I just feel like there's a lot of things that I can do in there that she hasn't seen before, especially when she's moving up to the flyweight division, when she's just been facing smaller opponents. With her moving up to the flyweight division, what problems do you think she'll face? Like she's just, just facing you. Um, I mean, I think she's physically going to be very strong because she was dominating at 115. Um, but I'm used to very strong opponents. Uh, yeah, I think she hasn't, she's obviously faced Carla, who's a really great wrestler, but she's so small. And I think it's gonna be different when she faces someone who has a wrestling background like me, as well as good striking and good jujitsu as well. Where does a win over Tatiana put you in that division? Um, I haven't really been paying attention too much to the rankings. You know, I just try to get in here and showcase my skills and, you know, just get get the win and get the next win. With all that being said, how do you get your hand raised on Saturday? Um, I get my hand raised by just staying focused and doing what I came here to do. You know, I'm not going to unload my game plan or anything, but, yeah. Awesome. Um, uh, there has been some movement in your division. Uh, Aaron Blanchfield just picked up a big, big win on this past weekend. Um who do you think should fight for the title next um, after Alexa Grasso gets gets her shot? Honestly, I don't really feel like Alexa Grasso should have gotten a shot. Um, but, I mean, she's a great fighter, obviously, beat a lot of strong opponents. But, I mean, Aaron seems like she should get the next title shot for sure. Interesting. And then um, and then finally, you've been doing some commentary for, for Peak. Uh, is that something you, you, like, you, you really like to do? Yeah, commentating has been fun, especially when I haven't been able to, you know, fight. Just something else to to work towards and get, try to get good at. Is that something that you would like to do post-fighting? Yeah, possibly. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I've just got one question for you. A lot of people talk about ring rust, um, and I know that both of you have been out for uh, quite some time, obviously, her for a little bit longer. Do you feel like that's... A real thing? Do you feel like it's a myth? Do you feel like you have to be out for a certain amount of time for that to really be a thing? What are your thoughts um, on that? I think ring gross definitely depends on the person. Uh, I can't really speak towards everyone. Um, but I, I don't really feel it when I go back in there. I mean, I've had layoffs where I've been off a year, eight months or so. Just right when the, right when the time starts, you just kind of zone in and get back to where you left off. Do you think it's a mental thing? Oh, uh, yeah, 100% it's a mental thing. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. That last fight with Macy was a very competitive fight. Were there things that you were able to take away from that loss? Um, yeah, just expect anything, I guess. I think I wasn't really expecting that kind of fight from her where she was just kind of holding me on the cage. Um, I was kind of upset because it, it seemed like it was such a boring fight. Um, there was just so much that I wasn't able to do that I worked on, and that was really frustrating. And I guess looking at this opponent in this one, she's very, very commanding when she's able to get a hold of people. Do you feel that this is this has the possibility of that same sort of outcome of maybe not the most exciting fight at times if she's not trying to push striking, if she wants to just engage in the, the wrestling? Um, she's 100% just going to want to engage in the wrestling, and I've prepared for that. So, yeah, she's going to have to 
work really hard for that. Awesome. And I guess just uh, like you said, I know it was a good fight camp. Where are you feeling that you maybe made the most improvements from the last fight? Do you think it was the striking? Do you, do you feel that maybe on the, the ground stuff? Where do you feel that you, most, you had the most improvement from the, the last time we saw you? Um, my wrestling, for sure. Wrestling, cage work, groundwork. I mean, everything. <laughs> awesome. And uh, I've been asking a lot, just keys to the victory, you know, for you to make sure you get your hand raised on Saturday. What needs to happen out there? Um, move a lot. Uh, don't run away from the takedown, you know, kind of engage in it if that's where she wants to go and uh, just impose my will on her. Awesome. Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you.